Sharpay and what's his name? Her brother. Chad, Ryan, and her brother. Abla, Abla, Abla. I promised you guys I was going to do a video starting January twentieth about my my last decade and things i have learned mistakes i did and just moving forward um i will be turning 30 on february 20th and lately i have been doing um kind of like a soul search just making sure that i am you know like i am i am growing i am improving so i did some research about just just um just growth in general and um and yeah, I realized that I was not as awesome as I thought I was. And there are so many things I have done that I hope right now or wished I didn't do. People I dated, um, people I befriended, or just the way I acted with the people that I called friends and I should have done better. And um, then I got married, I had a kid. There's so much, so much happened the last 10 years. So much happened. And I just can't wait to kind of like break it down for you guys. Um, this is just the overview of what I'm going to do. Um, it's very, today's going to be very basic. I am not going to go into details of a lot of things, but I'm going to talk about growth. And growth comes in multiple ways. And the, you know, the first step of growth from what I found on Google anyways, is there is always, um, you know, the unconscious, the unconscious growth, where, not unconscious growth, the first step of growth is at your unconsciousness, when you do not know that you need to grow into maybe a certain area. So I'll take an example. Um, I thought I was the best of friends. So when I was friends with somebody, I thought I was the, a very good friend. Then, but I was very unconscious about my blind spot, things that I should have done, I wasn't doing in the friendship, um, things that I sh I was doing that I shouldn't have been doing in that in that friendship. So then after unconsciousness comes the awareness when you're told, say, hey, look out, you need to change in this area. And I had that happen to me in the last decade. And the awareness part is where I think I got stuck. Because even if you become aware, you need to accept that there's growth that is needed. And I just didn't do it. I, it was difficult for me to accept that I wasn't a good friend. It was difficult for me to accept that I was selfish. I was a selfish person. In every relationship I had, even just, you know, agape love, like, you know, just friends. I, if there was no benefit for me, you know, let me rewind. Every friendship comes, you do not become friends with somebody if there's not something you would gain from that person. I think we'll all agree on that. It could be just you like the way they smile, you like the way they talk, you like the way they dress. There's always like a little bit of something about yourself you like in that person. So I think it's a little bit selfish already, just that aspect. But I'm talking about maintaining the relationship. I was, I gave only when it benefited me. And if I give selflessly, and I think that's where the selfish part came from. So the first video will really talk about just that growth, that awareness of like, wow. And some of my friends who will be watching this video, I know I've hurt you guys and I am so sorry. I was just ignorant. I, I was immature. So I went from that stage of unconsciousness to being aware of my mistakes. And it took me more than five years to accept that. Actually close to a decade. Like they told me this like way back in my early 20s. And it took me close to like last year when I was in my late 20s to accept that. Oh, they were right. I really had I really need to work on something you know how like you know something is missing but you don't really you don't really work on it like you don't know what it is but people telling you this is what is missing but you're like nope that's not what is missing I was in denial and looking back um I don't want the next 10 years of my life to be the same way I really want to renew the friendship with those girls you know my friends I really love them and I want to reconnect with them again they will know themselves. I don't need to call names. They will identify themselves. But um, I started reaching out again. And I really hope they forgive me and they welcome me back. Because I really missed them. And I realized that um, I wasn't a good friend. I was a selfish friend. And I really want to do better. 
so um my next video probably towards the end of the week but i um but i hope you guys stay tuned and you tell me if you like it um <laughs> this is very awkward but like i said they'll be major and like i'm going to I'm gonna tell stories. It's not just gonna be, you know, me just screaming through, skimming through stuff. I will actually tell you guys about the mistakes I made and what I learned from it. Um, I won't be calling names because, you know, some of these folks I'm gonna talk about have moved on in their lives because I'm gonna talk about past relationships and I don't want them, I don't wanna create any problems in people's homes because I'm married today. I don't want anybody bringing up my business out there, you know. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Now I'm taking responsibility and I'm looking forward to what this, you know, this new awareness and um, acceptance of my past mistakes is going to take me to. So see you at the end of the week and love you guys.